presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women, and some will make a good match for you, and others won't. The two of you only be like a key and a lock, a match that works. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 147, NASDAQ's up 20, S&P's up 14 and a half, gold contract, gold contract up a buck, 2020, there we go, 2020 an ounce. We have silver up 11 cents, $25, 37 cents an ounce, light sweet crude, flat. $75.30 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note, up E ticks, trading 113 flat. The 30 year up almost a full point, up 30 ticks at 127.23 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 356 ticks, trading out at 100.296. The Euro is at 112, the Yen is at 139, the British pound is at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in the yard world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? So we have the higher prices out here. Higher prices once again today. Yesterday, what we did out here, you did uh, 60. We did, we actually did 80 million shares. Yeah, you did 80 million shares. We hit 80 million shares. We're at a higher high today. We're at 47 million. If we go into the S&Ps and we take a look at them intraday here, what you're gonna what you're gonna see out here is that you know we've had basically a, well not a, yeah kind of a flat market all day, but it, if you take a look at this E mini what we had here for the first downdraft you can see that you had the big volume on the downdraft that wanted to get tested that was the 45.90 uh, bottom line it comes you know comes higher high can't handle the higher high comes back down test it now that test down there was definitely on lighter volume. You know, so the bottom line is that it's really going to be how you're going against this bar that we're against right now. See, the bar that we're going against, this is how it came down the second time. That was at 49,000 contracts. The last bar was only 20. So we're going to start a new bar right now. I suspect it's going to attack it. We're two minutes into that new bar. It's going to attack it. And, you know, we'll, we'll see if that, you get a failure there and it will go right back down the other side. NQs. We take a look at the NQs. NQs are going to be set up the same way. We take a look at these NQs. You get the same type of setup. You had the first bar. Actually, no, the NQs just went one way. Interesting. Yeah, no, the NQs went just one way, man. And you can see down the bottom there, though, you do have light volume at the bottom. But in, in the NQs case, we just did almost a 50% retracement of the move. Now the NQs, the last bar, we had 10,000 contracts going against 23. So the way that's set up is that that wants to come back down. Okay, that, that's, that's way too light a volume. That's, you know, less than, yeah, less than 50% volume. So we'll see where that shakes out, but that's how it's looking. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. You know, the, the amazing part, of course, we get the Fed next week, but the bottom line is that note and bond market wants higher price. 
You know, we had got down to a price point on, on the 10 year at the 110, yeah, 110.06. Right now we're trading 113. You're back inside the range again. We're at 3.74 on the 10 year. Um, when we were down there, it was at 4.062. You know, it's going to take quite a bit to get through this congestion right here. There's no doubt about it. But the bottom line is that that's the consolidation that you're looking at. Gold, gold's in an ABC structure on the way up. It took the B point out yesterday, took it out with volume. You get, uh, oh, this is interesting. We just, look at this, this is amazing. So check this out, folks, okay? <laughs> this is amazing. We're in July, right? And we now, the Z contract, I believe this is Z contract. Yeah, man, we're on the Z contract. We're rolling right now. Man, time is just something that you never can catch. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrial is right now up 151. NASDAQ is trading up 20. S&P's up 14 and a half. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up on 160. You get the Nasdaq up 27. S&Ps are up 15 and a half. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you, Tommy? Hanging I'm, in there. You? I'm doing great, man. Thank you. Uh, out, out, you, you outside of it, uh, <laughs> well, I guess last time I talked to you, it, it, I guess it was it hasn't been really hot up there, right? Has it? Uh, it's been humid, but not terribly hot. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah poor Larry. But, Larry's uh, getting your voice, smoked. Your but... voice sounds a lot better. You sound good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So we're going to look at banks, Wait. right? Well, you know, I'm looking at KRE, but I'm really looking at the components. Uh, I was short Silicon Valley Bank when they went bankrupt. Yes. And I had a great score. Yep. Uh, probably best I've done in 25 years of trading. It's a beautiful on thing. particular stock. Yep. But uh, I'm looking at these components, and some of them are trying to claw their way back. Uh, but they are the sorriest looking group of stocks <laughs> I think I've ever seen together in my life. Yep. Uh, is there another shooter drop in this industry or what? So let's look at it. So KRE, folks, is, is the ETF for the regional banks. And when you say the regional banks, you know, if you're watching Target TV, you're going to see in the Bloomberg there, most of them have about a 2%, and then it gets less uh, weighting structure. You get West, East West Bancrop, New York Community, I've heard that, First Horizon, Synovus, OZK, Huntington Bank Shares, Regions, M&T, PacWest. Pack West, <laughs> Pack West, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ex exactly. Um, yep. So let's let's take a look at this baby. So what what the, these banks have done is that let's do this on a weekly. So you got oh, you got a high volume low here, man. So we've done we just hit yeah. a point three eight two retracements, okay. And a little above it, I think. Yeah, it's a little above it. That's about it. Um, on the daily, let's see. So, 33. Yeah, we just took out the swing high yesterday, you know, but it had a little light of volume. You know, it's going to take a lot, Frank, for these. My take is to get through, you know, this this area right where we're at. I mean, you know, that's, yeah, that's how this yeah. is set up right now. I mean, yeah. you know, you, you, you come down with a vengeance. Um you're going into, you know, some real heavy resistance here, man. And people are just going to want to get their money back. Because what, ha what happens here, folks, is this. Is that, so the crisis was in February, February to March, right? And what you have is that we're, man, it's, it's pretty amazing that it's only three months ago. Interesting, right? Wow. Yeah. Because the no, the normally pension. what would end up happening here is that you come down, you went sideways for a bit, and I suspect even, let me pull this back more for a second, because you the have a lot of- The that took over Silicon Valley Bank's assets is doing great. Uh, FCNCA, it's some North Carolina yep. something or other. Right. That looks fantastic. No, <laughs> and that's, what, that's what does happen on these deals because- the reality, most of the time, when something gets done that quick, most, you know, the banks know better than, you know, when you do, you're doing fast auctions, man, I mean, the, the bottom line is that, you know, you can get assets on the cheap, and that's exactly, I mean, remember the day that, the first day it happened, I think the stock went up 5 or 10%, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. you know. Okay. Um, you know, I don't see anything here, Frank. I, I wouldn't. You can see. Well, I'm looking. I'm looking to short. No, no, I know that. No, I know that's sure. what I'm saying. I, I, I really don't see anything here that is a problem doing that because what you have, okay. you, well, when right. you're in no man's land right now. That's kind of what's also happening. It's like, okay, you just made yeah. it over to point three eight two a little. Does it really get up to, you know, because your your danger would be that it gets up to ice, which is fifty six, <laughs> you know. Um, okay, but. I, you know, compared to the large banks, okay, because you got to remember what ended up happening here is that when this happened, all the money, not all the money, but a lot of money shifted out of the small banks or mid-sized banks to the large banks because people said, hey, why do I even want to worry about my money anymore in general? Do you know what I mean? Right. Um, yeah. You know, and that's business-wise because business-wise, you know, you know, you're only insured for so much money. So I, I don't think right. they're going to be coming out with the same type of earnings that the big banks. You can see these big banks. I mean, they made so much money on the spread interest. It's amazing, you know. 
Never yeah, mind. They, they all had a great day yesterday. They, they did. And they made pl and they made plenty of money, too. I mean, it's, it's like, yeah, they were yeah. buying them. But, I mean, you know, when you, you can make, you know, Morgan Stanley made, well, J.P. Morgan made $80 billion on interest rates spread in 90 days. <laughs> it's like, wow. wow. I mean, <laughs> okay. that's, that's pretty amazing, you know. And that's just the money that's in the bank. You know what I'm saying? That's the yeah. money that we have, yeah. whether, yeah. you know, you're doing business with J.P. Morgan, you know. It, and with J.P. Morgan, folks, you're doing business with them a million different ways, you know, because I don't have an account at J.P. Morgan, but yet I have a Chase account. And so the yeah. way they have it so yeah. together that it doesn't matter where you go, you're in the computer. And as far as they're, they're concerned, you're a J.P. Morgan customer. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah. I like that. It, so, it's, it's, it's a so. good thing, you know to be but the bottom line is is that all that bread that's in there well as the rates go up well they automatically just make money on that bread like nothing do you know what i mean because when you yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah. Know, you leverage it nine to so, one so you lend it out money in the bank <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> so you know market wise right. though we can see what's going on frank i mean this, this market is relentless so you know yeah will it turn i guess i'm gonna look for some i to look for some topping signals here and uh, see right. if I can get some short. Right, right. Cooking, brother. Thank you, sir. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go inside the NDX first and take a look at what's moving the NDX out here today. So you got uh, Warner Brothers. Man, this, the Warner Brothers is like uh, so volatile. It's unbelievable. It was down 3% yesterday. It's up 4.5% today. Sirius is up 4.5%. Zscale is up 4%. Lucent's up 3.8%. Taken away from it, Align Technologies down 5. You got ASML down 4.5. Is that Dexcom? Dexcom's down 3.5. And you got Clack off 2.4. Inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow Industrials. Strength versus weakness. Yeah, the phone companies came right back. That's for sure. That's interesting. Well, it, we'll see if it's a one-day wonder or not. You got Salesforce putting uh, 46 positive points. Goldman 33, United Health 32. Taken away from it, Microsoft 22. Big deal. They, they put 150 points into that yesterday. Boeing 19, Caterpillar 11. Uh, stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials trading up 169. NASDAQ is up 35. S&P's up 17 and a half. We'll come right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. 
for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF nn.com Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industries is up 145, NASDAQ up 24, S&P's up 14 and a half. Netflix, let's go take a look at it. You got, we got Netflix, we got a huge amount of numbers coming out after the close today, but Netflix is one of them. Now, the ironic part about Netflix is that you're not only coming out with the numbers today, this is at a 52-year high today, too. So that high, 483.39, and revenue-wise, this is what they're looking for now. They're going to be looking for... 8.3 billion and two dollars and 85 cents to the bottom line and we take a look at netflix Whew. well i mean this blew away the highs with with volume there's no doubt about that so let's let me look at this on a weekly let's see what kind of a weekly you definitely got a, a small abc and a daily on a weekly Let's see. We got, you have two more days. You're 32. Yeah, you, you're going to have an ABC up, man. So check this out. So you got 448. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is something else. Okay, so this is going to get interesting. 448 is your B. 315. You get 133A to B plus... 411 544 on uh yeah i mean that that's that's how this is shaking out man and 544 put this on a monthly see right into that downdraft it looks like to me though it wants to go higher into that downdraft pretty amazing man so we'll see where that baby goes and tesla so Tesla, let's see what Tesla's saying here. The low for the year is 101, the high is 314. They're looking to take in 24.5 billion, bring 80 cents to the bottom line. Put this on a weekly too. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so this is a totally different setup. Let's see this. Okay, so, yeah, Tesla wants to pull back. You can see these highs. Three weeks ago, you did 405 million. You were taking out 722. So you get distribution right here. And it would make sense because you're coming into huge, you know, resistance up at these levels it doesn't look to me that it will pull back that much that's you know like we're at 293 you get 264 or something and i was trading 264 
<laughs> yeah, I was trading 265 last week. So how's that? That's how it looks, man. It just looks like it wants to pull back a bit. Nothing heavy. Some of the other higher volume equities that we have out here today, you got uh, uh, Cavana. Yeah, I heard Tommy talking about that this morning. That's uh, that's quite a deal, no doubt. Up 15 bucks, but that that's been that's that went from 3.45 down to three dollars or something. You got uh, Apple. Apple's up a buck fifty. You got Verizon up a uh, buck fifty six. Yeah, the phone companies came off those lows. Let's just take a look at this. You had a Ma Bell out here this morning coming out saying less than 10%, no, 10% of their um, wires have lead in them. So you're going to start seeing, you know, they're going to have to come up with something and say, hey, okay, you know, where's the defense for all, for all this that's happening? Um, now, if I put this on a monthly... I gotta see how this is gonna shake out. See, it's still gonna be quite a bit to get back inside the range. The range is 1577. But you can see volume wise, I suspect it's going to the reason being, see that, see that? What's happening there? You got this this broke the 2008 lows, but with tremendously lighter volume and, and it broke the March lows with lighter volume also. You're talking about, if we go to the 08 lows, you're talking about 1 billion shares. The March lows, 1.19, and right now we've only done 800. And you don't have that many, well, we get, get a few trading days left. We, yeah, we get about nine trading days left, but that's gonna have lighter volume. Verizon, VZ, it's gonna be the same type of setup, I believe. We take a look at VZ, pull this back, Oh, that's in better shape. That's interesting. Yeah, that's a different that's a different chart altogether. Now you're still gonna get back inside the range. I mean this is this is wild actually. This is a totally different chart. Huh. So yeah, this is not even close. Well, this two thousand eight lows was twenty one, you're at thirty three. You're breaking a swing. Five hundred and eighty five million. 445, that's gonna get close whether it breaks that with volume, but that would have to also, well, we'll see if it can close above 3455. That would be the number, 3455, that you'd wanna see that above. And I suspect we'll see how this shakes out, but both of those, and this always gets dangerous when, when you stop paying. You see that dividend yield, 7.71%? That's pretty intense, man, um, you know. And normally, if you get up into those levels, that's when you always have to worry about the aspect of, is it going to get paid? That's the real bottom line. Let's go to the NQs, because we just as we were talking just then, you had that first bar down. Looks like it has some volume. So we are we're at six minutes. Yeah, you get volume on this bar. I see that the, we just topped out at 9,200. And we're at 8,300 at six minutes. So uh, seven minutes now. So we'll see what it's going to want to go after that. Uh, the low only had 60, 84, no, 84,000, 8,400 rather. What's going to be interesting here is that after the close, though, this is what you want to be pay attention to too. If because I'm right, if I'm right in that context with Netflix. Um, Netflix will put some juice into that NDX 100. You know, the GDX, let's go take a look at the GDX out here. GDX yesterday had some good juice in it. You're backing down today with light volume. Yesterday we go up with uh, 20 million, you're back down with seven. And this is an ABC up. This is a nice ABC up too, man. You get uh, 33, let's say just 29, you get four bucks, which gets you 35, eight, yeah, this wants to go to the high. Those those highs are game right now inside of the uh, gold market. And if we go over to the dollar and we do take a look at this dollar, what's going to get intriguing here, because the dollar actually did get a little bounce going today. Yeah, and it, it, well, it hasn't held total price. We're at 100.299. 
And, uh, you know, we were as high as at 100.535. But you can see what happened here is that, you know, it was trying to get off, trying to get off. It got off a little. So even if it does a 0 0.382 retracement on the way up, you know, you're going to back down a little inside of those metals. But as long as you back down with light volume, well, you're in great shape. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 131, Nasdaq's up 17, S&P's uh, up 12 and a half. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 128. You get the Nasdaq up 17. S&Ps are up 13. And let's look at this composite. So we're going to get action after the close on the composite as well as the NDX. That's for sure. So you really, you got, you got higher highs out here. So let's take a look at the volume. You're going to do about the same. We did 4.8 yesterday. You're going to do about the same. We did, we're at 4.3 right now. Inside the NYSE, when you take a look at it, we did uh, 918 yesterday. Now that's going to have light, lighter volume. We're at in the 509 right now. We got to go to Microsoft because Microsoft put $150, $150 billion in market cap yesterday. And on top of that, check this out, Nadella, who's a CEO, um, he's now uh, at $1 billion compensation-wise. But check this out. He's at $1 billion compensation-wise, but since he's been the CEO, Microsoft has gone up 1,000% too. <laughs> so that's pretty intense. Um, let me just look at this for a second. 
So I was reading this earlier. It's like a thousand percent. He's been there for quite some time, I guess. Let's see. One second. Mandela. We go right here. That's weird. The Sandy's only been there. He's only been there 2.1 years as chairman. Let me pull this up. That doesn't make any sense. Microsoft's not up a thousand percent in two years. This has to do with options, evidently. But let's put this on a monthly and see where we come out here. So, 510 million, 345. Okay, now I definitely got to find out how many trading days are left in the month here. Okay, let's see. So, we have. Five, six, seven, eight. You get eight trading days left in a month. There's not, you average out 21 trading days, okay? So we have eight left, 355, 335. This is going to get interesting, actually, that you might not get the volume. So at the end of this month, the real kick is going to be where is Microsoft trading? It's going to be a close call. This is going to be really wild, man. Yeah, because like, they, they're going to need... A lot of volume in order to basically have that high, and you're down four bucks today. The real question is, is that what's going to happen at that, uh, when it tries to test that three, is it 349? That's well, 349. We take a look at it right now. Yeah, so the high was made like at 2.30 yesterday afternoon. Ran down yesterday, ran down all day today. And if you take a look at this, see this, it was, it's going, it was going into the strength right from when it started up yesterday. So we'll see where that baby shakes out. But that'll, that'll be intriguing in the context of, you know, if it, can't, if it can't stay above that level. It's not the end of the world, trust me. Microsoft's going to continue to make a fortune. You know what I heard today, which um, just actually blew my mind? And what it was is this, is that the, he had a, this is on Bloomberg, and a couple analysts, well, it was, you know, it was one analyst, um, you know, saying the aspect of, you know, these large caps, and they're always moving and they move too much. You know, I've heard this story so many times, folks, okay? Um, growth stocks and technology stocks have always traded like this, and they always come to accelerations on the way up. And it seems to me that, you know, since 94, that's what's always happened. I mean, that, you know, I've been really in that market heavily since 94. I mean, the first time I made a trade was 80, but from 94 on, I mean, forget it. And I always hear the same thing, and then you always hear, and I knew it was a couple people, actually, because yesterday I was listening on the way home, and you had a couple of analysts on about the uh, small caps that know they're going to have to do better, the value stocks, and it's like, oh, my God. So what is that? That's, that I've been hearing the same story for 30 years. <laughs> it's like the big stocks just keep getting bigger, folks. And, you know, the small stocks, you know, a lot of these small stocks never should have went public in the first place. When you're, when you're a public equity, that's a whole different ball game. You know, you're, you're basically doing business quarter to quarter, which if you're not big enough, that's very hard to do for a small company because you have to take higher risk when you're a smaller company. The money comes in later. You have money that goes out sooner. There's just so many different things. And, you know, I've just never bought the deal. Um, and then when I heard that last night, I'm saying to myself, you know what? There's no reason. I don't care how many times they are going to reshuffle the NDX 100. That's not going to change the outlook of Microsoft, Amazon, you know, Meta, okay? They, they're going to get big. Well, they, their waiting structures are going to go up again. That's, that's the bottom line. And, and we're all going to be surprised how big, how fast they actually go up, I suspect. That's just how it goes. Let's go take a look at that oil market out here. So we take a look at the XLE. XLE right now. Yes, yeah, there's not enough volume on the XLE. Oil. Uh, 
Okay, so oil gave it up today. Interesting. Oil gave it up at 76.97. There were all these contracts are rolling too. That's what's also happening, but yeah. That that gave it up pretty good. We're gonna take a look at the uh let's see when Google's coming out with numbers. So Google's coming out the twenty-fifth. Amazon, that's gonna be around the same time, I suspect. Twenty-seventh. So Amazon, they're gonna be looking for 131 billion to the top line, 35 cents to the bottom line. And Amazon really hasn't got the type of love that the rest of them have, that's for sure. I mean, off the bottom, yeah, 81, 81 to 135, that's not bad. But you're coming, this is, if you want to understand what ice is, this is ice right here. There it is. That's, and you can see that this is about as clear as you can get. See the big downdraft bar? So the way, that term ice, okay, it's a Wyckoff term, folks. And with that, how it came to being is that I suspect he must have lived, you know, where there was a pond and that ice was in the winter that you jump the creek you, 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 and then you come back up to ice again. That's, that's, that was his correlation into it. And you can see it quite clearly. He consolidated. You broke through in a monster way. You're coming up to it. And, and his method, you know, as long as that's coming up there with light volume, you're always selling ice. You know, because then what ends up happening, risk-reward ratio, you're putting your stop on the other side of ice. That's, that was just a, a normal sequence of how markets move. Move higher, move lower. And ice in general, you know, we call it resistance, you know, this day and age, but the bottom line is that when you do have ice, the difference with ice is that you always have long bars and you have high volume. Dow Industrials, Dow Industrials up 124, Nasdaq's up 13, S&P's up 11. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 121, NASDAQ up 13, S&P's up 12. What a story this is. Uh, so the, the president of Stanford, folks, just resigned, Stanford University, and what it's about is that there's flaws in his research. And the thing that's amazing on this thing is that it was actually found by one of the students there. Uh, man. <laughs> and this guy's been there for quite some time, man. And, you know, that would be less like the same. He's been the president since 2016. Wow. That's, I can't wait to read the rest of that story because that is... <laughs> something else man i mean it, it's pretty amazing i guess when you're in that type of uh, venture all the research papers and you know that type of deal that's how they basically get get forward that, that's how it comes down so let's go take a look at netflix nflx because coming into the close you're going to have everyone's going to be either saying i'm going to buy it i'm going to sell it and right now you know you have one little sell down but you know, Netflix topped out today at 483 or at 477 right now. We go to Tesla. We take a look at Tesla because both of these are going to be right after the close out here today. And we take a look at Tesla. Tesla right now is down a a buck 35. Yeah, Tesla looks to me like it wants to pull back a bit to that. Uh, what do I say? Is it 264. I think that's that's 30 bucks. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, that's that's that Tesla's definitely coming right up to some heavy duty resistance. There's no doubt about that, man. You know, that's where it's traded for quite some time. You, you know what the amazing thing is? The amazing thing is as to how many shares that Elon Musk sold in the four and five hundreds and no one even bats an eye at it. Like amazing. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.